Foot Champs Rewards. The first set. Here we go. EA, give us some good stuff in the player picks. Immobile and Parejo. We'll take Parejo because obviously a higher chance of picking or packing Immobile elsewhere. Ugh. Take Jamie Vardy. Is it a tradable dupe? Nope. All right, come on, EA. Bless us with some good picks. For well, now, that's interesting. I, I, I find it, when I made the video last night talking about the Serie A team of the season, I find it genuinely wild that this entire collection of players is about 250,000 coins, yet they're incredible. I genuinely think they look incredible. Yes, Smalling's got to be the one to take. He's 125k. Bremer's 100k. It is mind-blowing how cheap these Serie A tots are outside of, like, a couple. Oh. Should have taken uh, Bremer. Even Di Lorenzo is 60k. How, car how cool this card is. Chesney's 42k. I, I, I think they're awesome cards. I think they're really good. Um, wait, I pressed send. Oh, I was going to say, what happened to that Vardy? I thought I glitched the game. I thought I glitched the game. Yeah, 125k for that Chris Smalling. And only 99,000 coins for that Bremer. And even, like going even further, Barella is 600k. He looks insane. Quadrado is 184. Looks insane. Like, Tonali, I can't believe how cheap he is. 140k. He looks ridiculous. For a, not even just for 140k. He just looks ridiculous. He looks absolutely incredible. Ah, oh, we couldn't even get a blue out of one of these. We get 85 chic. That's pretty poor for the first rewards. Champs was repeatable. You could do... And, and then they gave objectives like they did with the French League one. You could just do, like, okay, let me keep building my Serie A champs team up. Let me, let me have a reason to grind it. Let me go back and do my Bundesliga one now, get some Bundesliga players. We've got rank five here again. Um, you know, there's so much choice of high-end players now that, go on, give us a blue. Ooh, Ter Stegen. That um, hitting a smalling just doesn't really change somebody's team, genuinely. Because, I mean, let, let's look at this guy. Let's, let's look at this guy's team for an example. Before we open his red picks... What has he got that's got him to rank five? He's got Saliba, this Ramos that's been in the game since day. He's got nearly a thousand games on him. Team of the year in Benzema, player of the month in Bappe with 500 games. Sam Max, team of the season De Bruyne, the Awar SBC, and then a bench with Tonali and Tadebo. Fair few loans on there as well. You've got to respect it. He's got Montiel upgraded at left back. What a card this looks to be, by the way. So even if he hit a smalling, first of all, until they change chemistry, which I believe they're changing next year. It, wow, has he got a Schmeichel in goal? Gee, fair enough. Um, yeah, until, until they change chemistry, if he hit a smalling, you might be like, yeah, let me try a smalling. But if you get a smalling in this team, you're just going to lose chemistry. And so no matter what we get out of these, these player picks here, unless it's one of Rafael Liao, Ossiemen, Varejkvalia, Dybala, Barella, Hernandez, or Martinez. Just not going to change the team. And th th this is what I mean. What, like, I mean, it, it is wild to me. And we're going to take this now. It is wild to me that this Tonali card is only 150k. Bosch for Tonali. And then secondly, it, I mean, we're seeing these same three picks the whole time. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go Chris Smalling again. To be fair, that's three hundred k's worth of reds. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's not the worst thing in the world. Three hundred k's worth of red informs is pretty nice. Go on, give us a blue out one of these. It's a, it's a lights up. Give us some coins. Why are team of the season players like Bremer, Di Lorenzo so cheap? Yeah, yeah. Well, as, as I was like mentioning, Edvin, right? It's because there's just way too much choice. There's just way too much choice. Which, again, would is slash would be a good thing if there was somewhere to play them, <laughs> right? That's what the next thing for EA to do is. We're at the end of the game cycle. It would be amazing if EA could just make champs or champs qualifiers 
in infinitely repeatable and just give untradeable rewards for it after the first time. All right, another rank five. Here we go. Let's see if we can get something different out of these player picks other than uh, Chesney, Bremer, and uh, Smalling. D don't want to see Di Lorenzo or Tonali either. I wonder if the, the, the price points as well are kind of dictated by like, if these, like, because we've seen Chesney, Smalling, Bremer, Di Lorenzo, and Tonali so regularly already in the few picks that we've done, if this is what EA is giving us reds, every time somebody packs one, they can sell it, which means that that card's going to crash. I wonder if because they're getting popped out, and there you go again, because they're getting popped out so much, there's no reason for people to hold these cards as tradables or buy them off the market because they're just thick and fast out of these packs. We get another Tonali. Jesus. We get a Di Lorenzo. We haven't seen anything different from all of those picks. Let's open these uh, packs. Maybe we can pack one of the uh, <coughs> the minor league tots as something a nice, uh, nice bit different. What what has my my guy got for his team? Fournier, load us in, load us in. There you go. I mean, what what? I mean, to be fair, you got niced with uh, Lewandowski. And uh, Luka Modric, you've got 97 Bellingham, you've got 96 Kimmich, you've got an incredible backline. It's it's hard, it's hard to upgrade a team like that. But what would be different, what would be fun, is if EA had in objectives, especially for the five major leagues, which they can do real comfortably, just loads and loads and loads of objectives that require you to continuously play with a specific league team for that, that upgrade that team through champs or champs qualifiers, continuously and even if like, like i say like let's say for champs right you get let, let's say the second time around you don't get the two player picks you only get the two red picks and you don't get the 50k and 125k pack you just get the 50k pack and it's untradeable i would still grind the living life out of that to try and get every single red pick i would keep going and then guess what if you get duplicate reds you just go and do SBCs. Perfect. You can go and complete all the icons. You can you can effectively work towards completing FIFA if you have the ability to repeatably grind gameplay. And I don't think that, that should be an issue in the current game climate. Previous game cycles, that would have been way too OP. But in the current game climate, I just don't think that that would be... I genuinely just don't think that that would be an issue. I don't think anybody would be sitting there thinking, oh God, not again. Right, I don't, I don't think it would bother people overall. A Syria Prime, we've got some 81 doubles, a Syria Prime, a Syria 81 by 11. Would I have champs open a week? I, I, I think either champs or champs qualifiers should be infinitely repeatable, yeah. And after the first time, or, or, or even not even after the first time because it's infinitely repeatable, just make the rewards untradeable. What do we got here? Bauman. Ugh. Under each duplicate. You enjoying the draft objectives? I am as well. I always, I tell you what, selfishly, I always really like when EA introduce things like draft objectives and the champ stuff because loads of players that never normally play it start playing it and it makes it really easy. Honestly, I got the easiest, easiest draft win of my life today. Not a single half decent opponent. I'm like, yeah. The, this is nice. More, yeah, more of this, please, EA. And, and, but it also goes to show why matchmaking is so vital. Because if you're half bad or, or worse, and you just start getting like slapped about constantly, you're just, you're never going to enjoy the game, which is why they had to introduce matchmaking and skill based matchmaking. Who's that? He has got a team of the season. Does look good. Does look good. Oh, thing, for me, things that for top five things for EA to introduce into next year. I've already got two of them on my mind. Right, Syria Prime Players Pack. Let's go, EA. No blue out of this one. Going to be uh, Blachowicz. I wonder where he moves to at the end of this year. Oh no no. Right, and then we've got the 81 by 11. This is the one. This is the one. 
1181 plus Serie A pack. Come on, show me blues. Ah oh, man. You know, I'm just said in the chat, 81 by 11 is popping blues like mad. Is it? Is it? I don't, I don't, I don't think it is.